Okay, everybody, it's Thursday. Thank goodness. Playgroup this morning and, wow, it's a pretty heavy playgroup. Lots of important discussions and things and Spence was mildly difficult. Only drew on some walls, only hit one of the other children. Yeah. So generally good. He's been a bit out of sorts, quite tired, um, a little bit emotional, but yeah, nothing to complain about. Nothing at all. It's actually been, he's fun to hang out with. Thankfully, I've only got one. Oh. Um, one thing that did come up playgroup that I thought was very, you know, very important issue for parents in particular. Um, I mean, I guess for everybody, but mainly for parents, and especially for stay-at-home parents, is the idea of self-care. And one thing that uh, I think need being drummed in to people's heads is this idea that self-care is not selfish. In fact, looking after yourself is the exact opposite of selfishness. Um, it feels it really doesn't feel that way. It feels selfish whenever we take time for ourselves, um, whenever we take time out from looking after our kids and our loved ones, um, and just do something for ourselves. Um, especially doing it regularly, it feels like neglecting, um, and it doesn't feel it feels selfish. Um, which is why it needs to be drummed in over and over again, and you need to tell yourself over and over again that actually looking after yourself is the most important thing that you can do in order to look after somebody else. Um, it's kind of like keeping your car serviced. If you rely utterly on your car, then you will need to keep it serviced. And if you don't, then you are foolish, essentially. Um, now I understand it's, it is more difficult to look after yourself than it is to look after a car, emotionally. And we all have, well, most people have issues around that, um, and which is why it needs to be confronted and needs to be hammered home. So I'll say it again, self-care is not selfish. Um, if you have somebody or several little ones who are essentially utterly dependent upon you, or you're their primary caregiver, therefore they are mostly, if not almost entirely dependent on you to be there for them, physically and emotionally, then it is incumbent upon you to take all the steps necessary so that you can be the best parent you can be, and that means looking after yourself. And that probably means making sure that you have time away from your kids um, and your partner and everybody else um, and do things for yourself. And if you're not doing that, you are actually, and this will sound very harsh, but you're actually failing your kids. Um, the only way that one can be a good the only way you can be the best parent that you can be is if you are also looking after yourself. It's as simple as that. It's like driving a child around in a um, an unreliable car. You know, if you don't service your car and you don't have reliable brakes in your car, you are doing your child a disservice. You are failing them. Um, as harsh as that sounds. Um, so next time, you need to take out some time for yourself and you need to, um, you know, Reevaluate your work-life balance, etc., etc., and you decide that you probably need to set some time aside for yourself on a regular basis so that you can recharge and revitalize. Um, just think of me telling you that self-care is not selfish, and say it enough times until you believe it. Okay, so that's my thought for the day. Um, I hope you're all doing very well and looking after yourselves and doing a bit of self-care today. See you next time. Bye.